Tambak kapatid. General Casimero, Tubong Ormoc City, Leyte. Tinaguri ang kwadro alas ng Pilipinas. Nakarap ang undefeated challenger na si Charlie Edwards ng United Kingdom. Ito ang unang pagdipinsa ni Casimero sa hawak nitong IBF World Flyweight Title. Una niya itong dinipinsaan sa undefeated na si Amnat Ruen Rueng ng Thailand noong June 2015. Dahil sa dumi maglaro ang Thai Python na talo si Casimero by a unanimous decision. Hindi nga po lumaban si Casimero ng isang taon. Simula nang matalo siya dahil hinihintay niya na makipagrimat sa madayang Thailander. At noong May 2016 napagbigyan si Casimero na magrimat sila. Dito nagiganti si Casimero at ni-knockout ng Pinoy sa round 4 at di pinaporma ang dirty tactics ng Thai boxer. Samantala, Si Charlie Edwards ay naging a major bronze medalist sa European at dalawang ABA National Championship. Nanalo din siya sa Great Britain Squad at naging qualifying noon para sa 2012 Olympics kahit nasa teenager pa lang siya. Bago ang laban nila kasi meron maraming nagsasabi na masyadong maaga pa at hindi pa hinog para sumago pa sa isang world champion. Ngunit malakas ang loob nito na harapin ang Pinoy. Dahil sa paniniwala niya na kayang-kaya niyang mapataob ang kwadro alas ng Pinas. Maging sa weigh nila ay sinisingyas niya ito sa ating kababayan na makukuha niya ang belt ni Casimero. May pagkamayabang din ang batang Breton na ito dahil hindi pa nakakatikim ng talo. Bago ang laban, ito muna ang kartada ng dalawa. Janor Casimero, may 22 wins, 3 losses at 14 knockouts. Habang si Charlie Edwards naman, may 8 wins, wala pang talo at 3 knockouts. Muli natin balikan kung paano ni knockout at pinatikim ng Road Warrior na si Casimero ang unang talo sa mayabang na Briton. Elbrook, Ricky Burns, Anthony Crawler, Terry Flanagan, Lee Selby, Carl Frampton, Lee Haskins who's on Edwards uncomfortable knowing he hasn't been in with the quality as a professional at this level. Right hand already. Try and use the height, the reach, everything he needs to do in this. But once that belt, I expected, I thought it take look, another right hand. I, I was expecting it to be a little bit more comfortable early doors for Charlie. Yeah, and Casimiro throwing some big shots. He looks like he's he's looking to make an, an explosive statement right off the jump. We're going to see a lot about Charlie Edwards tonight. I wonder if he's looked at it. He could be mistaken for 16 or 17, and maybe he feel pretty tough for his uh, slender physique. We'll find out more here. Dorking Casimero closing down the distance. Let's settle into the fight. Oh, and then big right hand, nice right hand there by Casimero Weeks. I totally agree with you, Dave. I do, I do. Quicker. Touch with it sometimes. Don't always throw it so hard. And then see if you get a reaction out of Casimero. Maybe you can counter his counter off of that. I can do. Boxing exhibition's got to implement it. You can counter off his, off his shot. Yeah, right. But he's, he's struggling a lot to run that jab. He's not making use of his height. Yeah. Which you would hope that early doors, you know, Charlie be making him work hard. Much further down. And if, he's, if he's not there, then get your feet out of there. And before that, he held the light flyweight crown. So he's been operating. Brooks doing later against Golovkin in levels. Fights and, and learning fights along the way. But coming out of Team GB, wanting to take, you know, wanting to think they're as good as what they are. They get in the ring and they read fights a little bit better. The punches behind that jab, either more jabs. And he's ready for anything Charlie Edwards can throw at him. But he was once like Edwards and he admires his ambition. You know, when he beat Luis Alberto Lazare. Here in the O2 because nothing like that can happen to him. Big right hand. But... And a tough hand here by Kebu City. And just started to dig in some body shots and 
You see, really winging them. You see it. Oh, oh big uppercut, and Edwards felt that. And that's a breakthrough there for Casemiro. Just staggered Edwards, and now he knows he's in deep. He set him up for other offense. This is what I like about Casemiro, he's not rushed it. He seems to go reaction out for a shot. He's a veteran, he's, he's working to it. Yep. There's a swagger, isn't there? There's a cool, calm, methodical approach. 14 stoppages he has, and that's a body shot, which is going to slow. Going the legs, he's not, and he's going to have to settle down and start to catch shots or, or, or in, but you're not going to be able to make him pay the way you need. Well, there's something that's gone wrong for the champion. But... Yeah, that's a, that's a fantastic opportunity to catch them with. Yeah. And he set him up. He, he, he noticed as Charlie kicks back and away, he dips down. Oh. And right there, he got him to back away the same way and then rip that uppercut. I'll tell you what, Charlie Edwards showed a good chin to say that. That's, yeah. that's one, one box that we've taken yeah, here because that, that could have put him to sleep. Because he dipped right into it. Yeah. He's dipping right into Clean. the uppercut. And he recovered really well. Yeah, Casimero knew that dip was coming. Yeah. But the worrying thing for me, other than the uppercut, Edwards are getting caught with a lot of shots of the body. Right into the fifth round, that will go to the scorecards, of which surely on yours, John Real Casemiro is way up. Maybe he'll go for a European title next, but... Initiate the yeah. offense right back. Oh, that right hand again. Better, though, from Charlie Edwards, doubling up the jab, but still he's dangerous, Casemiro. He's going to look for that all now. And, yeah, and that body shot's in this. So the judges, they'll be looking at work rate or accuracy. Yeah. Just to steal around here. Yeah, right? yeah you know, you just don't allow that to get, to get yeah. into any comfort zone. You win more rounds than you lose, you win the fight. Casimir, how he's loaded up on every single shot. Surely every time so far. But he should keep his composure, stick to the tactics. No real panic, though. No, he's, he, he, he may look like a young, young, young baby, but you look at him. Showing a lot, a lot of toughness in there. He's showing that he's fighting like a man, which is what you need in this fight. When he's getting more confident in the right fight or not, whether you win it or not, he's going to improve. Just a bit of revving around the left you know, ear. Another, of Charlie Edwards. another thing he did. It seems like they're more appreciated by these fans. I'll tell you. But, and then I, I, dare I say, it for the first time, looked a little befuddled that round. Oh. Good right hand to the head wrist. Is he going to get back behind that jab? And he said, oh, he's getting it now. Why? He went the last two rounds. I've actually given. I've, I've actually given Charlie Lampard. Casimero did lose to Amnet Ruerong in June last year, especially if he continues to land the body shots like that. Something of a guy that makes his weight, weight limit easier. A little bit of time ago by Steve Gray, but he's starting to just get through, and Edwards felt that. Oh, big shots here from Casemiro, and Charlie Edwards has to hold on and cling, and has he got the experience and knowledge keeps, and know-how to do it? He keeps ducking the same way, yeah, Casemiro yeah. knows, he keeps throwing the uppercut, Charlie has to make an adjustment in the way he's slipping that shot. A hand in front of your face, palm facing the floor, open glove, and what happens, you'll catch the uppercut at least. Big hooks going in from Casemiro, who feels he's more powerful. Good uppercuts there, that, that's the shot. Again, Edwards is showing his toughness. Yeah. It's, it's, again, it's... it's, it's, it's Rick taps it down from the Philippines. I wonder how oh. they're seeing things. They might not be needed if this uh, ferocious attack from Casemiro. There's the body shot again. Showing it earlier was, but can he take? Sustain a couple of good rounds on the bounce, and his confidence will have been raised. And then set up Casimero. Casimero was actually doing oh, it to him there. Oh. Big right hand. It's another one. Oh, it's oh and he's just gripping down on that gum shield, Charlie Edwards, and all the hours of training. But this is real, and this is world champion. If Casimero is, is going to beat the willingness to win out of Charlie, or if he's going to try this difficult. Big shots and come back with the counter. I do believe Casemiro needs to be countered. Uh, rat a tat get the uh, punches home. Now these are crafted. To, you know, he's not, he's not got the experience of uh, looking at us in the body shots that he's taking mid rounds. So I'm sure they're expected to win the first few rounds in the hole, you know, for the first four or five rounds. And then, Breathing every moment of it. Bellowing instructions to Charlie. In round number 10, nine. Charlie needs to finish, a big finish for this fight. Edwards. Would the team, Dave, right to take the opportunity here, or would you have waited, say, a year or two? Adam, he's, he's not disgraced himself. He's, he's, he's shown a lot. Especially at his weight class. You know, the guys tend to, and then when trying every round. 
Oh, they don't. You struggle when you were in that division. So when, when, when I boxed, you know, way back, there was about 26 fighters in Britain. Now, it, oh, oh, beautiful shot. Walk into it. Straight into it. And he's hurt badly here, Charlie Edwards. He's going to do very well to recover. He's brought a minute left. He's got a hold. Does he have the experience to hold? Can he recover from that? I don't think so. Steve Gray holds it. It is over. John Real Casemiro successfully defends his own. But he's, he's got nailed and he's still got up trying to win this fight. I take my hat off to him. He'll come again. This will do him this will do him the world of good. There's a lot of things to learn in experience and he will come again. Look at these shots. Panalo ng ating kababayan by a 10 round technical knockout. At yan muna mga kapatid. Marami pong salamat sa mga nagsubscribe at nagfollow sa ating Facebook page. Thank you for watching.